I have your attention, please. This is incredible. Due to a situation which exists outside of the ballpark, we are asking for your cooperation by remaining in your seats until notified otherwise by ballpark personnel. Ooh. And I heard shots. Uh oh. Oh, I heard shots. Some shots going on. Um, today we're gonna be doing something a little different. I'm dressed up in plain clothes I'm gonna be playing a victim in an active shooter scenario uh, Basically what's going on is a multi-agency training throughout the county of Miami-Dade. It's called the heat shield We're headed to the Marlin Stadium right now is one of the scenarios that's going on They have a couple other scenarios that involve schools uh, the AAA arena the airport but uh, our scenario is gonna be at the Marlin Stadium. I'm gonna be going along, participating in the scenarios, giving you a first person look um, on what it is like to be a victim, and maybe give you some tips, and I'm just gonna try to survive. That's, that's the goal today, is to survive, and get it on camera, and get it out, and give you guys some tips. And hopefully I don't get shot. Getting here now, walking in, had to secure my weapon. Hello. Hi. Hi, got to uh, rest. Yes. Blue is for, for the, uh, dinner. Training. Okay, blue is for dinner. That's the important one. <laughs> and then red is for all participants. Ear protection? I don't know. Uh, I'll bring it. Goggles is good. And then Light glow stick? stick? Glow stick for the rave concert afterwards. All right, now that we're signed in, as I was walking in, I saw this uh, this thing. Take a look at this thing. It's a police armored rescue vehicle. We use in situations like this to rescue um, victims and officers that might get hurt. Pretty impressive. All right, we're at Marlin Stadium. Uh, we're behind home plate right now. It's empty, no one's in here yet. They're backstage staging up. Pretty soon the civilians or the victims will be coming in. I'm gonna be staged in here somewhere. I think I'm gonna be behind the dugout, I don't know yet. Um, they're gonna tell me, and then the, the action begins. Something like this is good, because just imagine, you're out at the ballpark with your family, and this is training, but what if it really happens? I mean, it could be anywhere, at the mall, or wherever that you're at. Hopefully this will give some insight. I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, but like I said, I'm going to try to survive, and that should be your mindset, too. Okay, in this case, if there was shots being shot back there, then you would want to get out and go somewhere that way. Your shots go the other direction. In this case, there's a, there's a gunfight going on above, up, our, up there in our heads. Try to remain low and get out. Fastest exit, head the opposite direction. We got the exit right here. Exit side. And I'm out. Alright, I'm hearing shots fired again coming from down there and I'm walking down the escalator. So let's say you're up at the top floor and you're coming down, but you don't want to go to a hot zone. And the hot zone would be down there. There's more shots coming from down that way. Find an exit. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is exit. So what you try to do is find an exit. It's gotta be so Now, if this is where you're going to be held hostage, I would suggest to find a place where it's the safest that you can, even though you're stuck. Use this concrete 
would be your place, lay down on the ground. This way you have some kind of protection when bullets start to fly. All right, so I'm back here, we got victims, and there's a bad guy. Ooh, shot fire, shot fire. We got the SWAT team, they're over here, they're, they're pointing their guns. Get out of here, I'll kill them all! He's got hostages! Okay! Alright, so we got the SWAT team, they're above us. They said they're sending some people down. Don't shoot him! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot him! You got to move. We're all dying. They're telling us to keep our hands on our head, and that's for our safety. They want to make sure that we don't have any weapons. But we're not the bad guys. We're making sure that we are not the bad guys. It's for our safety. So he's telling us to have a seat. We do as he's saying. Stay here. We're not the bad guys, but they're just making sure that we are safe. Guys, we made it. I mean, you guys are a little cut up. We made it. Let's get these victims out of here. So, that's, probably the, that's probably the best thing you want to hear. Exactly what he said. Let's get these victims out of here. We're headed into the elevator and back to the safe zone. How do you think they did? Cool. Huh? It's did, pretty unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Did you even see that team? Which one? The team that took them down. Yeah. You yeah. saw them come in? Oh no. Oh, no, actually, no. Oh, I saw them, but I stay quiet. Okay, very good. That's exactly what you need to do. But well, you didn't see that team come in. No. I, didn't, I didn't see that team come in. <laughs> and I'm a cop. We're done with that scenario, which could have went bad. We could have left in one of these things. And we don't want to do that. But if we do, we have these guys and gals here to protect us and take care of us, right? Right. Exactly. All right, and uh, that was the end of our scenarios. Uh, I made it out alive, and I did what was, what felt right, what felt like natural instinct to me. What we're gonna do is, when we get back to the station, maybe in a later vlog, we're gonna get with our specialist at our station and go over some of the footage that we did, and we'll critique it and see how I did. Hopefully I get the uh, thumbs up. I feel like I did all right. Coming out alive, feel good, felt all right. But, um, Guys, that was the end of our vlog. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, 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 and uh, we'll see you next vlog.